Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales, and in today's video, I'm going to showcase to you a cool tool that I found that I've been using for a few weeks now, which is called Visual Ping, and it helps you monitor website changes. There's other uh, competitors out there. I've done my own research, and uh, I found that Visual Ping is the best one. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I really like them, and I've tried a few others of uh, their competitors out. Uh, so what is it? What is it? We monitor website changes, so you don't have to. What does that mean? Monitor website changes. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to put a URL here. It could be a home page of something, a product page, a content page, anything you want, a search page. And you're going to monitor. It's going to take a snapshot, basically a picture of that page. It's going to know exactly what HTML is there, what text is there, what images are there. And it's going to take a picture of it. And if it, it's going to check on some frequency. It's going to check, for example, once a day. And if anything changes based on your configuration, it's going to send you an alert. And then you'll know about it. You can visit the page and check out what changed. <clears throat> so what kind of use cases would that be? Number one, if you're a business and you're doing some QA, basically quality assurance, you want to make sure if the website changes anyway, maybe it's broken or something happened, you want to alert on it. So that's a very simple use case. But for personal, I think there's a lot more use cases and I think most of their customers, uh, just my guess, are uh, for personal. So why would you do that? So for example, I'll give you a few examples. Um, number one is you, you want to shop at a certain, uh, you want to buy a certain product and you're waiting for the price to change, maybe for the price to go lower. You can put that product page in the URL here. You can specify the, the location where it says this is the price, for example, $25. And you can have the system check every day. If that changes in any way, it's going to alert you. You can go check if the price went down, you can then buy it. Same thing you can do with in stock, out of stock. Maybe the product is out of stock and you can check that product page and say if it's out of stock, if that changes, then alert me. Um, other than that, I, what the, I'll show you a few cases that I've been doing, a few things that I've been doing, and I want to show you the tool and see what you think about it. Okay, and if you have any questions, as always, comment in the box. Uh, we're here to help uh, create a community and help with a lot of knowledge. Okay, so let's let's look at a few things here. Let me give you two more examples that I've been doing, and then I'll show you the back end. So number one is I was looking at uh, Shopify. There's a, a page that said, hey, we're releasing a new feature in March 2023. I went, I visited March uh, 1st, 2023, and I saw the feature was not released, and their help center did not say that it's released. It just says it will be released. So instead of me checking every day, I set up Visual Ping to go there and said, if anything changes on this page, I want you to alert me and then uh, tell me about it and then I can go instead of me wasting time every day to go to the page and check and check and check. Uh, so that's one example. Another example is there's a product that I want to buy. Basically, it's an IKEA product that is an uh, indoor uh, air quality sensor. And it, they said they're going to release it, but it's not on the site yet. So what I did is I went to the site and I searched for the, the product name and, it, and it's not there. And I, it, what I did is I set up an alert and said, if this product comes, it's available on the page. The page obviously would change because it's not existent and now it will be existent. I want you to alert me, then I can go buy it. Okay, so let's show you a little bit about this. I'm using the free plan uh, and I'll show you the differences, some of the concepts, differences between the free and the paid plans you'll see. With the free plan, you get five jobs. You can actually check five different URLs with a certain frequency and then you can do things. So let's let's say, for example, we want to monitor if anything changes on Google.com. Okay, so I created an account. It's free. I have the free plan and I went to Google.com right here. And now it took a picture. You see, this is the full, this is everything on Google.com. Google.com is very simple. There's a header, some links, there's logins, there's the logo, search box, and some stuff. So first of all, I need to name it. I need to name it for my own reference, and I like to be very descriptive. So Google homepage, okay? And now I need to specify how often do I want to check once a day, once a week, or once a month. These are available for the free plans. And if you want the frequency, you want it to check if the page changed more often, you're going to have to upgrade to higher plans. The threshold is uh, going to specify when does the trigger alert me, send me a notification if it changed. So any change, no matter even one pixel or one letter or one picture change, 1% 1 change of the whole page, which is also very small, 10%, 25, and 50. So you can specify uh, when do you want to get the alert based on the threshold, okay? Um, other than that, you have, a, this is kind of one of the more important things, which is the compare type. What am I trying to check? So visually, what am I trying to check? I, I can check whatever I'm highlighting here. So if I want to see only if the logo changes, I want you to alert me within this threshold, 1%. I want you to alert me, okay? Or I can specify, you know what, I only want if you change 
anything here, I want to do it, or the whole page. You can specify. So this is a visual. The second thing is text. It's going to take the whole page of the URL you put, and if any text changes here, based on the threshold, it's going to alert to you. And the last one is element. You're going to, it's basically going to let you click around. You see here, if I highlight, any element I select, this is more like html -y, but you don't need to know HTML. It'll do it for you. If that changed, for example, if the I'm feeling lucky changes, I clicked on that, you see that? That changes, then I want you to alert me. Okay, let's say, let's get, okay, so alert me. So where is the alerts? The alerts are in the notifications. If you have the free plan, it'll only send you an email, but if you pay for more, more plans, you'll be able to have a text message, Slack, Teams, Webhook. Webhook basically allows you to connect it to your own system using some program language. It'll send something to your URL, uh, and then you can do whatever you want with that alert. And then Discord and RSS, these are other features for that, okay? Um, so what else, so let's do that. Let's go back here. Let it run for a second. Okay. So other than that, perform actions, you can also do more advanced things such as, I want you to check that if you load the page and then you, for example, click on something, then it'll uh, get an alert. So this is more advanced things, not just load the page, but load the page and do something. For example, load the page, log in, load the page, click on a button to add something. Okay. Uh, etc. And this is where you can test from. You can test from different countries depending on your QA. This is much more for uh, business side, but sometimes in personal you have to do that. Okay. Um, and you can do some other actions like click here, then wait something, etc. So once I do that, now I can create a job. For example, I want you to, let's do this. I want, to, if the logo changes in any way, I want you to send an alert to me. I do that. Okay. Now I created the job, it's here, it's going to check once a day because I selected once a day, okay? So once you get an alert, um, you're going to get an email. If it, if it triggered, whatever trigger it is, you're going to get an email, for example, this, and it said, hey, we detected a huge change on this specific one, and it's, it'll, sh it'll show you which ones have been removed, which uh, words have been removed, and which words have been added. So a ton of words have been added. And then what you can do is you can go to the website, just go to the actual website, or view the p changes on Visual Ping. And the interesting thing is you have, this is the text changes if you scroll down. So these things got removed, these things got added, right? This uh, got added. And then all of these, all these things added, added, remove, remove, removed, right? Added, added, all these things got added. You see that? All these things got added, so there's a ton added, and then that was actually what I was looking for, okay? So this is text changes. You can also do visual changes, which lets you sc uh, scroll with your mouse left and right, and this is basically before to the left, and then after everything that got changed. So there's a ton of new things. All of these are, you see before these things didn't exist. Now I have all this new content. This is great. So it helps me very simple, uh, simply do that. So now I can turn off the alerts or do whatever I want because I already know it changed. I'm good. I can deactivate it or I can delete it. Um, those are kind of the major, major things with this. So this is really, really nice. It's super helpful. Let me just introduce you a few other insights that I found. So uh, uh, one thing that I found here is um, they you can access it on the mobile phone, but on mobile, uh, they have some bugs. They have some things that don't work perfectly. For example, the scanner, which we saw right here. Remember, I can move left and right. It wasn't working so well on the mobile, so I'd recommend if you use this tool, use it only on desktop. Number two is if you go to your checks, uh, you'll, you'll have a log. Basically, the monitors, every time it checks, for example, I checked uh, one time here, and then every day I'm checking, and it'll, sh it'll say how many times uh, if the change was detected or not. For example, the change was detected two days ago, and there's an 8% uh, thing. You see here, I can also check. So you see... Uh, it was detected, changes were detected. Here's a, you can see here's a visual and here's not. You can see all this uh, difference. So you also have a log on the checks and you have kind of a summary of what change or what not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, that's it. Other than that, kind of for the plans, let's go to the plans. Let's share a little bit more information about some of the plans. And that's it. I hope you guys like this video. It's pretty interesting. So you basically have for personal, um, you basically have this is the free one I've been using. You have five checks. Uh, you can only, uh, max frequency, you can only check as quick as one a day, once a day. And then you get emails 
you get emails if there's an alert. On the other, uh, the other pricing, if you pay more, you can have more checks, you can check more frequently, and in some of these you can also get a text message and integrate with other systems. And then for business, I think it basically you can just have teams mostly. So um, that's it, very simply, th that's kind of the tool. I really, really like it, I hope you guys liked it. There's so many use cases you can uh, use it for. I use it for pricing, it's checking if pages changes, change, especially things that are supposed to come, a, you know, come in, in future. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this or anything else that we do, let me know. Ask in the comments. We're here to respond, to help share information, to learn from you guys. If you like this video and others, please subscribe, share with your friends, send us a message, say hello, ask questions in the comments. We're here. Much, much appreciated. Thanks, you guys.